Hi, my name's Sophie, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a business hours autoresponder in Bird. Now, before you can use this flow, you will need to set up your business hours for your team. Let me show you how we've set that up. If you head over to preferences and then business hours, you can see here that we have some business hours set up for Luxembourg. We've got the name, the description, the time zone, and then below that we've defined working hours, Monday through Friday. You can also set holidays down here for specific days when your team isn't working. Let's save these business hours. Now, if we head up to the top left-hand corner and click process automation, and then go to template flows and customer service, you can see all of the pre-made flows that we've set up for customer service. Let's use this business hours autoresponder here. To start customizing this flow, you'll need to save it to your library. So there's two different views here. One is a linear view, and the second is a tree view. You can choose which one you want to use, but we're going to use the tree view. This shows you how the flow is set up. There's a trigger at the top, which is WhatsApp Cloud API. Then an action that checks to see if the current time is in business hours. And below that, a conditional that tells the flow what to do if it's outside business hours or within business hours. The actions here are to send a plain text message to the conversation, to let them know it's outside of business hours, or to let them know that an agent will be with them shortly and assign to an agent in an inbox. There's not much configuration that you need to do here, but let me walk you through the steps. Heading up to the trigger, you'll need to select one of the WhatsApp instances that you have installed. Then click Save. The next step will check to see if the current time is in business hours. So here you'll need to select those business hours that you had configured in your preferences. So we're going to click here and see Luxembourg business hours. We're going to skip the test for now. Now we have our conditional set up. As you can see here, branch A deals with outside business hours and branch B deals with within business hours. We don't need to change anything in this part of the configuration. Now let's see what message the customer will get if they message outside of business hours. We pre-filled it with some message content that you can customize for your brand. And within business hours, we've done the same thing, letting them know that we've got their inquiry and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Beneath that, we have the assign to agent and inbox action. We've set this up to prioritize agents with the lowest workload. There are other things that you can customize here, including prioritizing active agents or agents with specific tags or teams. As you can see, both branches of the flow end in termination once the messages have been sent. And that's it. We've configured our business hours autoresponder. To set it live, all you'll need to do is click publish draft and your business hours autoresponder will be live. 